top five guns for home defense. I've seen some guns right here. These guns are looking kind of mental. I ain't gonna lie. So if you guys could get these guns, yeah. This is gonna be an interesting video. Let's jump straight into it and see what kind of guns you guys can purchase for your home defense. Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here, Moss Pond and Gun. And uh, today we have another five guns video for you. Right. I know that these videos have been very successful and uh, we really appreciate your support. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great ideas from you guys on subjects that you want to see moving forward. Uh, we had a very successful SHOT Show this year. Um, lots of videos came out of SHOT Show. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and check some of them out if you want to see some. Wait, I'm looking at this wall right here, right? This is mental. You guys can actually buy any of these guns. Is this like a P90? Jesus, man. Some of the new products coming out. Um, also, I know that we really haven't been doing as many SHOT videos. Uh, but hopefully we're going to be able to remedy that. And this is the first of many shop videos we're going to be catching up on and, uh, and getting back to. Uh, so this is going to be five guns for home defense. Um, this is actually a subject that I've really been thinking hard about uh, in terms of, you know, what would be the ideal guns for self-defense. Right. Because I know there's a lot of people that get a very um, sort of cowboy-like, uh, you know, attitude when it comes to home defense. You know, they think they need a big old 500 Magnum uh, revolver or 50 Action Express Desert Eagle or something like that or some kind of big scary gun uh, because uh, that's obviously a better home defense gun. Uh, when really home defense is best... Bro, people just walking around with like straps around their chest with the revolvers in the pocket, like the holster, and just dueling the people that's invaded. Uh, ...looked at from a few different areas. One is your, your mental attitude, okay? Your, your mental fortitude as well. Right. You need to have a good mental attitude about the situation and how to deal with the situation. You have to use, use the right firearm for the situation and you have to have the right combination of ammunition for the firearm you choose so that you know that in any situation you're going to be able to safely defend yourself, your home, your family, what have you. So it really depends uh. on your defense needs. Um, these particular guns I've selected because um, they meet, in my opinion, the most generic form of defense needs for the average household here in the U.S. Um, in other parts of the world, I know some of you guys don't really have the ability to defend yourselves in your home. If these are the guns, I swear I'm seeing a couple of shotguns. Of course, there's going to be shotguns, right? When you're in a home, you're close range. But, oh, yeah, mad. Mad. Got a handgun here. Um, you know, without, uh, you know, seeing some kind of legal action or getting in trouble or anything like that. But many places in the U.S. here, for the most part, um, we can defend our homes using firearms. With that being said, probably the, mo the number one choice for a uh, firearm. There um, we go. We're not really going to do a countdown method. I'm just going to go down the line here. Uh, we've got a Maverick 88. And, uh, of course, this is just a 12-gauge shotgun. Uh, this particular one is a six-shot. Um, you can get the... Uh, Yo, that's mad, bro. Imagine you got, like, one day I'm drunk in America. I stumble into the wrong house. Some guy comes out. Oh boy, you bag out my property. And all you hear is, yo, I'll be so, I don't think I'll ever be so scared in my life. Bro, that shotgun, imagine, it would blow a hole in your body, right? That would blow a hole in your body. Mossberg 500, the Mossberg 590A1, you can get the Maverick 88. Oh, that's scary. Um, all of these shotguns, which have different prices depending on how high you want to go in terms of quality. That's a scary um, The Maverick gun. 88 is generally going to be the cheapest shotgun in their line. Um, th these generally run about $269. Is that um, you it? You can feed them a variety of 12 gauge loads that'll definitely suit all of your needs. Of Bro, the shotgun is 200. Huh? Why? That seems cheap. I swear in the UK you could buy like airsoft guns, which are like kind of like toy guns. They're not actual guns, obviously, for more expensive than that. $260 for a whole ass shotgun? For home defense. Uh, the nice thing about shotguns is, of course, they throw a nice big spread. Uh, so if you're not familiar with them, uh, a shotgun throws multiple. Okay. Right. Um, again, it offers the same benefits as any other. Oh, wait. Is this the actual bullet that goes inside someone? Yo. Yo, is that actually, or is that just the case then? And there's a bullet in there. If that actually goes inside someone, man. The shotgun, but in a slightly smaller caliber, a little bit less kick, a little bit less recoil, 
allowing you to keep the rounds on target. And this is a great gun for a lady or anyone that's small framed, right. anybody that just can't quite handle the recoil of a 12 gauge. So um, shotguns are, as you can see, are a wonderful addition to the uh, potential home defense arsenal. So that's my first two picks are the uh, 20 and 12 gauge pump shotguns. Some of you want something smaller. Uh, and uh, that's where cowboy. something like Smith & Wesson Governor come into play. This is their new stainless variant. Um, this particular gun has not been out very long. This is kind of new gun. for 2014. Um, it is a very nice gun, has a typical, um, very high quality double single action that you would expect on any Smith & Wesson revolver. Um, this is a wonderful gun. The nice thing about it is that, you know, on the outside it just looks like a standard revolver, but you right. can shoot two and a half inch, 410 shot shells out of it, or 45 Colt what ammunition. And you can also fire the 45 ACP on- I didn't realize how big bullets are. How does anyone survive gunshots? Like these bullets are massive. Moon clips. So from a standpoint of home defense, this gun gives you a ton of different options. Unless I don't understand like how bullets work. Does it have like an inner part? <laughs> I actually don't know. Because you have shot that you can shoot. Uh, you can do like the number four buck shot that I think gives you like four pellets in a 410, which basically that's four projectiles going down range for each trigger pull. So this gun holds six shots. So six and four, you know, you got quite a few pellets going down range there um, with each shot. This is a rifle barrel. So that means that shot, as the cup leaves the barrel, it's going to be spinning and it's gonna make that shot disperse in a very, very wide pattern. Ooh. So if you really need to pepper somebody good at combat ranges inside your home, this is an excellent option. Again, be careful not to load it with something that's gonna to penetrate too far in the house. Uh, many of us have, you know, interior drywall uh, walls which many, many homes in America have just standard drywall, interior walls. Um, number four buckshot will generally stop in about four to five layers of drywall. Oh, wow. Uh, which is good if you're worried about overpenetration. If you have people in the other room that you're concerned with, you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to hurt your family members, your small children that are in other oh, you know, wow. areas of yeah, the house. Oh, wow, yeah, that's crazy. That might be something that you need to consider. That's crazy. So it all comes down to ammunition choice. I can't believe it goes through that many walls. I mean, like on this tray here, we show all of the different loads you can put in the Smith. What is this, bro? All right, these are like standard bullets, right? Like, obviously, I know what I've seen these. But what is this, bro? This actually... I can't understand. This comes out and actually fires into them. With the Western governor. Uh, of course, you have the Taurus judge, which is a competing Massive. model to the governor. I personally think the governor is a better gun. That's just my opinion, but I'm a little partial to Smith & Wesson. I like Smith & Wesson's quality. Um, they make some of the most awesome revolvers on the planet. Now, moving along, another pistol. If you just want a good, solid handgun for the house, Right. You're really not going to go wrong with a Glock 19. Uh, all right. Yeah, now, we all I know, know what Glock there's probably are. a lot of people that are watching these videos and I've they're going, these okay, well, these guys are Glock fanboys. These guys, you know, can't think outside of the Glock box. Well, that's untrue because the thing is, I have a variety of handguns in my house, okay? I'm not going to go wandering through my house and just thinking, okay, what am I going to grab to shoot this perp that just kicked in my door and right. might be trying to hurt my family or whatever. Right. Uh, in my opinion, the Glock 19 is just a no frills handgun that is very easy to shoot. It's easy to load. You know, the slide is real easy to work. So if you got some young little wife that, you know, doesn't have very up, you know, a strong upper body strength or can't really cock the slide as easy, you know, back and forth, this is a real easy gun to load and shoot. It's easy to teach someone how to shoot. Um, I just think the Simple. Glock 19 is a very tough contender for a home defense gun because of those reasons. Easy to shoot, easy to maintain, um, incredibly accurate. Very what, what about like a rocket launcher? <laughs> Could I buy a rocket launcher? Is that, is that actually legal in America? So like, for example, someone comes into my house, to whack out a rocket launcher, boom. You know what I mean? See them with me. Very reliable, you know, which for a home defense gun, you want something extremely Can't reliable. Miss. Uh, you don't want to be in the middle of the night trying Wait, can you buy grenades? No, you probably can't, can you? I, I, like, bro, the rocket launcher, I'm, I highly doubt you could buy a rocket launcher as well. But grenades, you can't buy grenades, can you? Trying to clear some kind of stoppage or something like that. So um, the Federal Guard Dog is tough to beat. Um, it expands, it feeds like ball ammo, and it expands like a hollow point. So the Guard Dog is nice if you need ball round reliability 
but you need hollow point devastation. So I would say the Glock 19, certainly a contender uh, for the house. So that's number cool. four. Last but not least, um, Chris yeah. Vector, man. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people look at this gun and they- Yo, bro, we joined in the military. Why did- <laughs> Yo, the only time you need this in, in, in a house invasion is literally if there's 20 of them, bro. If there's 20... Yo, 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 that's mad. A contender uh, for the house. So that's number four. Last but not least. That is mad. Um, Chris Vector, man. Now, I know a lot of people look at this gun and they think, wow, it's it's really crazy looking. It's, it's really <laughs> obscure or whatever. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of work with the Chris Vector, you know, in recent years, and I think it is a fine firearm. Uh, the bolt throw is really... Yo, I'm telling you right now, someone goes into a house and you whack out that, bro, the shotguns is bad enough, but you whack out that, they are gone, bro. That You whack out a whole ass machine gun. It's short. It's got the recoil reduction system. Basically, into the way the gun is actually engineered is to mitigate the recoil of a 45 ACP. Mod. Um, you have the... 25 round extended magazines that you can get for it. So you have 25 rounds of 45 ACP in your hand on tap, ready to go. All right, you can run a 230 grain expanding uh, projectile. Um, you run them at kind of a low velocity. You know, you get you a 230 grain expanding projectile running at around 850 feet per second. That's something that's not gonna over penetrate your house. Okay, it can go through a few sheets of drywall and it's going to slow down considerably. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong, you should always know what's beyond your target before you shoot. But personally, I think the 45 kind of has an edge there. Um, this particular rig, of course, low recoil, so very fast follow-up shots. Um, this particular one has the flashlight on it. So you've got a flashlight available. That's you've badass, got bro. You got holographic, you got flashlight, you got extended, you got an, uh, an extra grip, bro. Extended mag, the whole shebang, man. Dot sight. Um, this one has a folding stock. Uh, this particular You know what? This is the gun I'd get. I'd get this gun. I'd get this. Oh, wait. Can you get a UMP-45? That's one of my favorite guns. I get that. Or oh, Sniper. You know, just hold your back. I, I've said this before, right? No matter your opinions on guns, right? They're in America. If I was in America, I'm telling you right now, no matter my opinion, if I'm against or for, right? If I was in America, I definitely would have like some bad ass James Bond wall with like all different type of guns and stuff because they're just cool, man. Like it's just, you know what I mean? Version is an SBR, so it does require, you know, the paperwork and tax stamp uh, to be filled out on it. But if you want a nice small rig, I mean, this is something that can just ride next to the bed and you're good to go. This is something you just deploy the stock, close the bolt or leave it loaded with the safety on. And you've got a wonderful low recoil, rapid follow-up shots, um, 45 ACP stopping power. That's crazy. And in my opinion, this is just the ideal personal defense weapon, both inside the house or the car well, or wherever yeah. you might need a small handy gun. Yeah, if you need to take on 20 people, you're chilling. Uh, to be able to put people down if they're trying to kill you, hurt you, or whatever. Um, this particular gun is just an excellent rig. We are going to be doing a, a full review on the That's Vector uh, before too long. That's one gun that I've had a while and I've just been meaning to get out and play with it. So uh, we have many more gun reviews coming. Uh, if you like these five guns videos, certainly let us know. Uh, we've got a lot going on in the way of video production. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. That if was really cool. If you have an idea for a five guns video, something that you think we didn't cover, or something that you'd like to see clarified a little more, let me know. Yeah, no, five guns that's illegal in America. That would be a good video, actually. But really good video, enjoyed that. Let me know what kind of guns you guys have in your house for home defense and stuff, if you do have any. But yeah, enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash If you guys want to check me out over there. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.